Here is a test problem on application of inverse functions. Anil and Amita are planning a wedding reception at a banquet hall. It costs them a base fee of $2000 plus $50 per guest. If their budget for hall expenses is limited to $1000, state the cost as a function of number of guests, determine the expression for the inverse state domain and range for this situation. I'd like you to pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestion. Now let's start with part A, which is state the cost as a function of number of guests. Now, we need to define the variables first in this case. Guests or the number of guests is independent variable. So we'll say let x be equal to number of guests. Now in that case y is equal to cost in dollars. Is that okay? Cost in dollars is y. So that is how they are related. Now we can write down the equation. The equation is y is equals to which is cost $2,000 plus so we have $2,000 plus $50 per guess, 50x. So that becomes the equation of the function, right? So we can write, so basically, we have related guests with the cost in this function, right? Now part B is determine the expression for its inverse. Now to find inverse, what do you do? You swap x and y, right? So we'll rewrite this equation, and then we'll write like this, x, equals to 2000 plus 50y and then you solve for y so what do you get you get y is equals to so solve for y will be x minus 2000 divided by 50 so that is what you get for y now say state domain and range for this situation now you can find domain and range from the budget if their budget for the hall expenses is limited to this is actually ten thousand dollars let me be ten thousand dollars right then what is the domain and range now that is the cost of ten thousand dollars so how many guests can you incorporate in this ten thousand dollars that is what you need to find so you can actually use inverse of the function to find how many guests you can have, right? Let's go back and look into our function once again. The idea here is to understand, you know, normally we write x and y and get our answers. But it's sometimes meaningful to use, like we could have used c for cost and g for guest, right? In that case, when we say y equals to 2000 plus 50g, if I replace c for for example, G for guess, for example, and C for cost, right? So now we know that the cost is a function of guest, right? So we can say cost as a function of guest is equal to, this is function notation, right? Is equal to 2000 plus 50G. Well, I use capital G. Let me do small g here. Okay. So that's an alternate way. You could have said that let G be the guest and C be the cost. In this, that case, in function notation, you can say cost with guest as independent variable is 2000 plus 50G, right? So when you find the inverse, so what it becomes is guest as a function of cost. So Y becomes guest as a function of cost. So guest as a function of cost is equals to cost minus 2000 over 50. Do you understand? So inverse basically here, which is in this case, I should have written here F inverse, which is F inverse of X is equals to this, right? So that is the number of guests which could be included for the limited expense of $10,000, right? So now we can calculate what is 
the maximum number of guests, right? And then write domain and range, right? So we can see from here that the number of guests for a limited budget of 10,000 is how much? Let's calculate. So 10,000 is equals to 10,000 minus 2,000 divided by 50. That is 8,000 divided by 50. Let's use calculator to find the answer, right? So we get 8 divided by 50 which is equals to 160 right so we get total guesses 160 so that will give us domain and range correct so now we can write down state domain and range for this situation so we are going back to our function and the function for us is cost is equals to 2000 plus 50 G right so domain is number of guests which can be included for the wedding reception right so we say domain is equals to domain is g belonging to natural numbers because they cannot be real numbers they're numbers one two three four like this where g is greater than or equal to one well when we say natural numbers then it should be zero is not included right so let's make it whole numbers whole numbers greater than or equal to one and less than or equals to 160 so maximum guess is 160 so that is how we are going to write domain and range for this function becomes the cost function cost right c c belongs to now this amount is could be a real number right so it is any number which comes with calculations of this value right which is between 0 and the maximum is 10,000 right so C is less than equals to 10,000 so that is how we can get the range for this function right so I hope now it's absolutely clear so in application problems I'll prefer you to use meaningful variables it helps to understand the question right for for example now you understand the equation of the function was in terms of cost as a function of guest and when we find the inverse of the function it really means guest in terms of the cost right so that is what that is how function and its inverse are related right I hope that helps you to understand and solve similar questions. Thank you.